Football is one of the highest paying sports in the world, with footballers making far more than your average household income. But have you ever thought why footballers keep on becoming richer and richer even after they retire? That certainly is a mystery. And for that, we're going to dive deeper into the financial route of the world's richest ex-soccer players to know the secret behind their insane wealth. Is it just because of the game or sponsorships or maybe endorsements? Stay with us until the end of the video and all your questions will be answered and your facts checked right. Michael Owen The 42-year-old resigned from football in 2013. He was on course to become one of the best forwards the country had ever seen. After guiding Liverpool to a triple in 2001, Owen received the Ballon d'Or, football's most prestigious individual reward for the finest player in the calendar year. In addition to his 89 England appearances, he also played for Real Madrid and Newcastle United. Owens has a £4 million mansion in Wales where he lives with his wife Louise Bonsell and daughter Gemma. His successful career earned him a good fortune. Michael Owens' net worth is expected to be $68 million as of 2022. Rivaldo A Brazilian making it big in Europe was what enthralled his fans. The marvelous mystery of his skill and strong grip on his game made him earn a lot of recognition in his career, and his hard work helped him have a smooth retirement. A midfielder who played successfully for clubs like FC Barcelona and AC Milan was spending 10 years on the Brazilian national team from 1993 to 2003 is now worth $74 million. While he made most of his money playing football, it looks like all these game earnings and several endorsements have paid him quite well, as he appears to be living his best life after retirement. The Brazilian player flaunts his luxurious life often on social media network site Instagram with his second wife Elisa. Both he and his wife are seen enjoying either some time at the beach or working out. Fabio Capello Capello is a retired footballer and currently manages the Italian football team. His successful career earned him a net worth of $89 million. Capello has played for SPAL 1907, Roma, Milan and Juventus. During his 15-year career, he played as a midfielder and won various titles. He won the Coppa Italia with Roma in 1969. But his greatest success came with Juventus, where he won three Series A titles in 1972, 1973 and 1975. He won the Coppa Italia again with Milan in 1977, as well as another Series A title in 1979. Capello also represented Italy at the international level, earning 32 caps and scoring 8 goals. Ronaldinho The Brazilian legend was believed to be close to bankruptcy after he was jailed in Paraguay for forging passports. However, the truth was not what it was rumored to be. Ronaldinho turned his life around with some really smart business moves. He launched his own brand of gin, branded as R1, and was the face of Betcris, one of the leading bookmakers in Latin America, contributing to his now net worth of approximately $90 million. Raul Gonzalez Blanco The Spanish footballer is considered to be one of the most important players in the history of Real Madrid. But not just that, also one of the greatest Spanish players in the history of football is worth $100 million. Before retiring, Gonzalez played as a striker for Real Madrid. He was raised in Madrid's San Cristobal de Los Angeles neighborhood and played for the neighborhood youth team before switching to the Atletico Madrid youth team. But what intrigues us here is how this all-time top goal scorer built his worth million dollar fortune. Having spent 16 years of his career with one of the richest clubs, Real Madrid, this much income is valid, isn't it? But his source of income doesn't stop here. Like all the other players, Raul has had agreements with several endorsing brands. Some of these brands that Raul is linked to are Pepsi, Adidas and Boss, Zidane. This retired French footballer knew exactly how to play perfect balls at precisely the right time. His strong knowledge of the game helped him in his next career venture of being a football coach. He won accolades for his coaching techniques and re-emerged as an outstanding manager. However, if you think that he was able to acquire a network of $120 million with just professional playing and managerial success, then you would be quite wrong. Just like all other football players, Zidane skyrocketed his income by collaborating with numerous brands. Again, the brands that Zidane collaborated with were not just any brands but high fashion renowned brands like Adidas 
and Christian Dior, Ronaldo R9. Apart from the hefty amounts footballers make from the actual game, endorsements and sponsors are other important sources of their income. And here we're not just talking about some random sponsorship, but Nike, one of the most popular sports brands in the world. Nike has supported Ronaldo since the beginning of his football career. Nike signed Ronaldo to a 10-year contract and an endorsement deal for more than $180 million in 1996. Throughout his career, he has been associated with Nike for many Nike advertisements. Even the original Nike Mercurial R9 was created particularly for him. He owns stocks in multiple companies, a luxurious house in Rio, and several expensive luxury cars. Ronaldo's net worth is expected to be $160 million. Dave Whelan Injuries have been a major part of Dave's career, and several of them have played his football career. But his business career has flourished onwards and upwards, even after seeing a backward route. Whelan stepped into the supermarket business after he retired from the game. For more than £1 million, he sold Whelan discount to Ken Morrison. He wasn't thinking of shutting down his business, but to gain more knowledge and expand his business, as he traveled to America to study supermarkets. His research led him to create a chain of 10 supermarkets, which he again sold for £1.5 million to Ken. Later, Whelan bought a fishing and sports store named JJ Bradburns. Under that name, Whelan created the business empire, becoming the second largest sports shop in the country in just a few years. Not only his network comes from his supermarket business ventures, but also from Wigan Athletics, as he's the former owner of Wigan Athletic. Considering all his business ventures, from market stalls to supermarkets and football clubs, his estimated net worth is considered to be $210 million. David Beckham Which name comes to your mind when you hear of a football player massively famous for their highly publicized personal life? David Beckham instantly. Not taking anything away from his on-field mastery, but he sure is quite famous for his personal life. Where Beckham is considered one of the best footballers in history, what also intrigues the masses is his luxurious life. The endless amount of money comes from his own brand, DB Limited. Apart from his own brand, Beckham inked a contract with Guild Esports in May 2022 for at least $19.78 million over five years. And then he agreed to a deal for EA Sports FIFA 21 worth $55 million. Not only this, but Beckham has collaborated with companies like H&M, Breitling, Sainsbury's, Armani, Gillette, AIA Group, and PepsiCo. He also helped design the renowned Adidas Predator boots. And his own fragrance has become a bestseller when it was first introduced. All these things sum up to make him a millionaire with a net worth of $450 million. Matthew Flamini Number one on our list is Matthew Flamini. The French midfielder may not have had a steady career as a soccer player, but he certainly had a lot more to offer the world and to himself. Starting off as a soccer player, Flamini played for Marseille, Arsenal and AC Milan, making his mark in the world of soccer. Flamini, in his deal with Milan, was experimental in its approach where he first played at right back before being moved to midfield. Having had a knee injury and being ruled out of the entire campaign, Flamini returned to Arsenal for training before he was signed permanently. Flamini said his final goodbye to Arsenal and football in 2016 upon his retirement from professional football, moving on to his next career, which was eventually going to be more meaningful and financially abundant. While most footballers opt for tiring and coaching after retirement, Flamini had something else going on in his entrepreneurial mind. He was sure that if there was anything he wants to achieve other than football, it was sustainability. Having seen the impacts of plastic in water and on the beach, he was aware of the horrendous impact it had on our climate. And for this reason, he stepped into the world of sustainability and entrepreneurship. He co-founded GF Biochemicals, a company that produces oil substitute luvulanic acid at a mass scale. According to Forbes, Flamini is currently worth roughly $12.38 billion. Founded with business partner Pascal Granata, the company today employs over 400 people with 80 working at its facility in Caserta, Italy, and operates in a market worth over $28 billion. Imagine you were a professional soccer player and then retire. What would you do? Enjoy retirement with your well-earned money, become a coach, or would you invest your money into something else? Let us know exactly what you would do in the comment section below because we're really interested. And also, thanks for watching. Before you leave, make sure you like the video and don't forget to subscribe to see more videos like this. Until the next time, guys, see ya.